What's up, guys? It's Cameron Yee here, back with another, not Fortnite, well, I'm gonna be talking about Fortnite, but I'm gonna just be swinging around the city as Spider-Man. Um, basically, today I wanted to talk about the biggest low Fortnite has had, and its second biggest low, in my opinion, that it's had, but also its two biggest highs as well, in my opinion. You definitely, 100% probably won't agree with the highs, but right now, I'm going to just name them, and then I'm going to explain them, first the lows, then the highs, going to explain both of them. If you do, you don't have to agree with me, um, alright, so the two lows is, the, the biggest low we've had is Season X. And the second biggest is, right now, Chapter 2, Season 4. The biggest high, in my opinion, was Season 7 of Chapter 1. And you definitely won't agree with me on both of the highs. The second biggest high was Chapter 1, Season 9. Just hear me out later, though. And don't click off just yet. I'm gonna, I might alter your thought of how Fortnite was actually was and how it is now but I don't have to but I just wanted to put a message out there all right getting into it first of all we have the biggest lows which was season x come on it was season x brutes you had the stupid rift zones with the stupid stupid gimmicks everything was horrible everything the game was unplayable Surprisingly, I played the game more in Season X than right now. Um, but definitely, it was not a fun time. Just really brutes, rift zones. What more? What less could you ask for? wasn't a fun time nothing now we're going to talk about now um sorry i was just taking these guys down chapter two season four honestly it might be tied with season x by this point by this point the game is a hundred percent unplayable everything unplayable then just mythics you have Horrible battle pass. Just everything is bad. Just everything. Just everything is not good. I can't find any good currently with this season. The game is unplayable. Sweats are taking over. I just can't. I can't by this point. I'm thinking of quitting Fortnite. Like, honestly, I might start making Among Us content, stuff like Apex Legends, more, stuff like that. Spider-Man, Miles Morales coming soon. Um, I just, I might do a Fortnite video here and there, but right now, unplayable game. I don't know what to do by this point. Like, I've spent so much money on the game, thousands of dollars. You might criticize me for that, I don't care. I'm starting to regret it all. I've now seen the game is horrible. I hate everything about it currently. My best friend in the whole world likes it, so I only play it when I'm with him, but that's really it. I played no Fortnite recently. Probably the last time I played was almost a week ago. It's just unplayable. Now we're going to go to the highs. I'm telling you, you're going to believe me. So first, let's start with Season 9. Season 9 used to be my favorite season in all Fortnite until I gave it some thought and realized that it's Season 7. But this is why. So, with Season 9, trust me, 
we might have not had the best battle pass. You have to admit, maybe, maybe it wasn't the best version of Tilted. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, I like Neo Tilted better than Tilted. You could hate on me. It had vibrant colors. It still had a good layout. It had new buildings with new layouts. Everything was great. I know you missed the nostalgic Tilted, but honestly, I thought Neo Tilted was a big improvement. I loved it so much. It was vibrant, everything. Just everything I could ask for a location. Also, we had the new Retail Mega Mall. Favorite version of Retail Row. By far. Easy win. Can't compete. Just honestly. I can't even compete with... Nothing, no, like, no version of Retail Row can compete with it by this point. And, oh. Um... Neo Tilted, Mega Mall, great. Maybe not the best Battle Pass. I liked Rocks. I liked Demi, the Wind Umbrella. I still think it's the best one to this day. I'm, I don't, I'm honestly hating this current season's Wind Umbrella. I don't like it. I just don't like this season's Wind Umbrella. It's very clunky, and it doesn't make sense with the whole Marvel vibe. Sometimes I wonder, where did Fortnite go wrong? And whenever I say that, I always know that it's Season X. People think it's the start of Chapter 2. It was Season X. Even if we, we still have the OG map, they screwed it up. Like, I'd honestly rather have our current map that I hate so much than that stupid Season X thing. It was not fun. Nothing about this game was fun. But now, with Season 9... Well, not now, but before when with Season 9... It was all a fun time. There was no badness. Everything was good. I just... I miss the old Fortnite. It's not the same anymore. And it w will never be the same. And that's why... I know there are all those nine... No offense, I don't want to be biased, but there are all those nine-year-olds and, tw and 11 and 12 and 10-year-olds that don't want to move on because they're not good at any other game. And just because you're not good at a game doesn't mean you can't get better. But you can like whatever game you want. I just don't enjoy it. I can't find the fun in Fortnite anymore. Honestly, when this game dies, I won't care at all. Because I will be grateful for the memories, but I ranted on so long. Okay, Season 9, good battle pass, good everything. But also, let's get into the gameplay aspects. You may have not liked the locations or something, but the new items we got were fun. The storm flips added a like really fun aspect to the game. You can make a storm when there wasn't a storm, or you could survive in the storm when there was the storm. The proximity nade launcher. I really loved this thing. It wasn't too overpowered, but it wasn't underpowered. And that was just the gun we needed at the time. Chug splashes. One still going to be one of the favorite items in this game. Can't go wrong with chug splashes. You had things like the TAC AR. I don't know why people didn't like that. It, very good AR. Don't, I don't know. It was a very good AR. Loved that thing. You had the, the new hot zones thing where, where the drones would spawn. And just everything was a good time. You're, you would all, you would play with your friends. You would rem, You could always reminisce about the old times, even if you didn't like it. If the new items were good, and you still had new items coming back every week, so you could have more and more fun. But now we don't get that anymore. Some people have realized it, but some people just can't move on. I still love watching Fortnite videos. Don't get me wrong. This isn't an ad, but please go subscribe to a channel called Newscape Pro. I really think they would appreciate me telling you 
to go sub to them. Even though they already have like 2 million subs, they're my favorite channel in the history of the universe. Always will be. They make Four Night Short films. You can say what you want. They'll always be my favorite. Um, finally, I want to talk about Season 7. Now, Season 7. Okay, people don't like it because of the Infinity Blade and planes. Okay, I thought the Infinity Blade was overpowered, but when you had it, it was kind of fun, but it's still overpowered. I just... The, the, may, okay, people say planes were so overpowered. I never saw it. Planes were not that overpowered, in my opinion. I didn't see that they were overpowered. I liked them. They were a fun addition. They were our first ever air addition to the game. It was so fun. And also, the feeling. There's one thing that's in the game right now, the current game, where you could still see the like get the feeling of season seven and that is a music track called festive if you didn't know it it goes and that's basically season seven in a nutshell the best season of fortnite and you might be wondering how the hell does a music track summarize season seven when it doesn't even have words the it's the feel it's the vibe i remember the morning season seven came out all my sleepaway camp friends and i woke up we we got online early before we went to school we just rode around in the planes looked for all the map changes bought the battle pass it was so much fun that's one of my favorite fortnite memories i have and I'll never get those memories back because all my friends now don't play the game. All, pretty much now, including me. We just don't play the game anymore. All four of us. We've moved on to different games. Obviously, we still hang out and stuff. But, like, the game, I can't find it to be fun by this point. And that was it. The the planes. We still had new additions every week. So even if they were dumb things like a boombox or a snowman, they kept or like like the chiller grenade. Like everything kept us coming back. You had the drift boards. And towards the end of the season, you had this really fun LTM called Driftin, where it was like Team Rumble but with drift boards. And it was a really good way to show people how to use the drift boards. And I miss that. I miss that Fortnite. I miss waking up on a new season or waking up or coming after school, hearing that music track, getting that Christmas vibe. People say they didn't like Winterfest Season 7. Bruh, Winterfest Season 7 was the best one we've had so far. Think of what we've had. We'd have we've had Season 7. We've had Chapter, and we've had, we've had Season 2, which was good, but... Season 2 was very good, actually. But I liked, I still like Season 7 the most. You want to know why? Because they changed the planes. They, it, to have, oh, yeah. We, we forgot to talk about the Battle Pass. People hate on the Battle Pass. Don't know why. Onesie, good skin. Trog, good skin. The Ice King, great tier 100 skin. Maybe a little bulky, but that's it. But I still love the Ice King. Lynx, one of the best skins in history. Zenith, I don't know why people don't like it. So many custom mold customizable options and then just the wind glider actually the wind glider sucked i will be honest about that the wind glider was very disappointing that season but still who cares about the wind glider i just i miss that fortnite i miss waking up i miss having all those friends to play with also it's not only the vibe that i got in fortnite but I was also doing really well in real life, too. I was getting good grades. On my, fr I had no friend issues. I was doing very well with school and friends. Um, I got a PS4 for the holidays. Everything was a good time. I had no complaints with it. Season 8 started. I don't know. I guess 
Season, season A was okay. I, I didn't really have too many problems with it. Maybe one here and there. I still played a lot in Season 8. Still love... I, I still like that season. It's not like one of the best. I'll look back on it and be like, yeah, Season 8 was a good season. I remember waking up to it and seeing like all the new changes and whatnot. Oh, yeah, by the way, Season 7... When I woke up and saw the whole new Battle Pass and everything, I didn't even know that it came out. I woke up to see all this new stuff. I loved the trailers that they put out because they never put like out a trailer like that before. Everything had a vibe to it. And that vibe was like Christmas and winter, but it was like a peaceful, not, not like a, it's Christmas time, load up the guns, get ready to shoot. It was like a peaceful time where it was like, hey... There's now creative. Have fun with your friends. Enjoy the holidays. There's so many good skins to now enjoy. Planes to help your experience. New items. I know we brought in the Infinity Blade, which was our mistake. But that's it. That's all. Like, everything was a good time. You might have not liked the planes. You might have thought Fortnite was dying. But you had a good time with friends. Also, I just remember... The first time I did Scissors Death Run in Season 7, I just remember I was in the lobby, having the festive music on, all my friends and I lo loaded in, and we would try to beat that, we spent hours trying to beat it. It was the most fun time, like one of the most fun times I've had with my friends in Fortnite. I have fun with my school friends and stuff now, but usually when I have fun, I just have to do sweating or do wagers. Creative is really the only way I can have fun right now. But even then, it, there's still only sweats and creative. I love how what they're doing with the matchmaking portals, by the way. But right now, the I think the, the matchmaking portals are disabled. And just the only way I can really have fun by this point is to hope to go into create to create a fill and do something fun i will say there is a very fun among us hide and seek map that i've been playing so much with my friends recently i actually will look back on i'm being honest that's the most fun i've had this season it's one of my best memories i know i only just got it recently this season is a big low but that was my biggest high was when I played that Among Us hide and seek map, hide and seek map with my friends. It was the most fun I've had so far. I had so much fun, like on, uh, like on an unimaginable level. Like almost as fun as I had like in season nine or seven. Not as fun, but definitely fun. Also, in season seven, they were bringing out new LTMs all the time. They introduced the block. It was just so fun. I hope that might have changed your opinion on Season 7. Because you only remember the bad times about it. Like the stupid Infinity Blade or stuff like that. But you forget about the about your friends. Yes, some of you may not have had... Like, no offense, but some of you may not have had friends. Some of you may have not got the experience with friends. But you still got the experience. I also remember... When they put Lachlan's map in the feature, and all my friends and I went to go play, because it was like his hide-and-seek thing. It was so much fun. I can't get over, like, the experience of it. Because it's, the experience is very hard to explain, is the problem. Because when I explain the experience, people always can't really understand it. So basically what I'm trying to say is... I had so much fun with my friends. I was doing well in real life. I There are so many significant memories from Season 7 that just make it so good. I really didn't have that many pro I had, like, one problem with the season, and that was the Infinity Blade. That's it. Get rid of the Infinity Blade. Everything was fine. I was fine with the planes. I It was everything was fine. Everything. You couldn't name one. You could only name one bad thing about that season. And that's really it. We have to stop thinking about the bad times. Only when it's necessary. We all, But we have to also remember the good times or we'll never get past or, we'll, or we can never remember the good times. Yes, I may hate the game and it's in its current state right now. But I also still am grateful that I had those good times. And that's the message of this video.
So stop always dwelling on the bad times. Obviously, you can dwell on them, but you have to remember, even during some of those bad times, you had good moments. And those are why season 7 and 9 were my favorite. Because I played with friends, the game wasn't as sweaty, and it was all around a fun time. So with that information, I want you to rethink what you've said about those two seasons. Um, the season, chapter two, season four thing, and the season X thing was really just to tell you why I didn't like it in those seasons and kind of to compare it about the good times I've had. I, I just wanted to share my personal opinions. I just thought about sharing it. Please go search up on YouTube the festive mu the festive music track um ten hour version and just listen to it. You don't have to listen to it for the full ten hours, obviously, but please just go give it a listen. It will give you all that nostalgia in one music track. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. I won't leave any links in the description this time. I hope you you all stay safe.